Hi Libra, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, sun, moon, or rising. Oh wow, as always, thank you. Uh, <laughs> welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra. The message could be um, for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Let's jump in. Oh, and yes, you can follow me over on Instagram. I've been posting some stuff over there. Um, I've just been a little bit calmed down because of holidays and stuff, but... Um, yeah, you can jump over there. Information is down below too. Hmm. Libra. So there is a change happening to maybe your norm, like higher font, obviously. Uh, some of you guys could be maybe teachers. This is like a guru energy kind of, but it's like teacher student. This is tradition. Sometimes this can also be about higher level commitments or structures like this is this is sometimes about religious structures or business or you know big things that have been built up there's something changing it could just be even for some of you guys in your belief system you could be kind of breaking from the norm i wonder if that's a part of it like you're kind of oh what's that term like breaking trail you're doing something that hasn't been done before or something I'm hearing that a little bit it could just be in your family line like you could be breaking just like patterns in your family line you're doing things completely different or just in your surrounding area like you're trying to activate something completely new but you're also doing very traditional things to activate that non-conformist energy fascinatingly like you're using old things that work. The Hierophant is things that we've known about for a very long time that work. It's just about applying them. And then you've got the Maiden of Pentacles. So you've got reflection, diligence, desire, dependable, and intelligence. So you could be researching it to a lot right now, like diving into a lot of information. You could have, let's see, that's Taurus. Taurus. People get mad when I say Taurus. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. So let's jump in here. Let's see. Let's get the deets on what this is about. It could be a new way to make money or investments. Some of you guys. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh my. Well, this is really freaking good. I am going to take them. Okay. Okay. On the bottom, you've got, and there's the turn. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is like a turn of events, a, like, it's like things, you could have adapted to some type of situation and now you're elevating in some way, it's some, it could be the ch a change in a karmic cycle that you've been involved in, it could be like energetically, emotionally, some of you guys, you're deciding to release it, you're, you're letting go of a huge burden or a weight in some way, that's awesome, so that's a part of the change. You could be hearing in some way that like you're releasing a huge obligation. You're letting go of something pretty big. It could be other people's stuff that you've been kind of carrying around and not totally knowing it. Look how amazing this is. So you've got the world card. Okay. There's a pretty significant cycle that you are wrapping up right now. It could be with another person, and here you are focused on something that you feel like is a wish fulfillment for yourself, okay? So we'll dive into that, and look at these cards. This is amazing. This is freaking amazing. You have the Sun card and the Lovers. So that is a positive connection here. This, this could be romance or it could be a business partnership. There is something very positive here. It feels like it's still at the beginning phases with the Maiden of Pentacles, okay? It's still pretty slow moving. Um, okay, some of you guys, this could also be about something sun, okay? Sun can be a whole bunch of different things because you know I talk about the science aspect like absorbing photons of light from the sun. Yes, there's that. 
Also, it could be something about your guys' astrocartography, which could be about your sun line, okay? You could be going to a place that makes you feel very confident, and this also could be something where you're meeting a person that is connected to that in some way, shape, or form. Let's dive in here. Let's jump in. Let's split right immediately, okay? Very positive though. I really, really love the main cards, Libra. Okay. Oh, you're still like deciding on something from the past. It could be a person or something that you had started in the past. Nine of Swords, all right, okay. Um, Hierophant, look at that. <laughs> Overhead, the Fool card, yeah. So there's the ending, there's the brand new chapter that you're trying to maybe activate in some way. You've got the Ace of Cups, heck yes. That is new love. I love to see that, let's see what's overhead. Two of Swords, okay, well, I actually like that it's upside down. That means that you're not confused anymore or indecisive. Like, and that's a lot of this energy in general. It's coming out of some type of illusion. You're pretty clear now about maybe a direction that you need to go in. I can see that. Like you're, and it could even be about a person. You could be like, you're not confused anymore about them. You see everything. You've got a lot of illumination coming in. We've got the Empress upside down. Five of Swords, Ish, that's a stalemate. Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I like that. And what's our final? The Chariot upside down. Okay. All right, Libra. I feel as though right now you could be feeling kind of like that there's a particular connection here that you you're aware of. You still oh, like overanalyze this situation. This could be male or female. Don't get too caught up on these genders. Here's Taurus, here's Libra Taurus. There's a lot of, there's Cancer here too, Gemini, Leo. Lots of different energies popping out. For some reason, I'm just pointing them out for you. But, okay. Um, I'm gonna clarify that Chariot card, Queen of Swords. And the Page of Swords. Queen of Swords upside down. Libra. For some reason, I feel, I mean, that Chariot card could be that you have travel restrictions. Shocking. Like, that's probably a big player. I feel like there's someone at a distance from you. There could be, a, like, a little bit of communication is blocked right now or the forward movement isn't totally happening because there could be th things about distance like um it could be an opportunity in some way shape or form to you it's still fairly new there's a lot of still like looking at things trying to gain information trying to see like if this is a good opportunity, it's, it is slow moving with that maiden of pentacles. Okay. But for some reason it is showing me, I think that there might be interesting, like there will be a shift that happens in this connection when something else ends. It's one of those typical things, 10 of wands, when a burden is released or, um, this can sometimes be like, this is some of the Scorpio energy that we've been slowly transitioning out of. If you could have felt like obligated to a person or a situation to like, you had to stay in this and be there in some way, shape or form, that's closing out. For some reason, that energy is closing off. And now you've got this really positive wish fulfillment thing coming around that's kind of popping around. But of course, it is the typical thing, something needs to be let go of and closed off for this to come in. And for some of you guys, that's going to be a variety of things that could be closing out a living location, that could be closing out like exes from the past, if this is about love, because you do have new love coming in, okay? 
And for some of you guys, interestingly, with the lover is the higher font twice and then that empress card, I kind of feel like this very interesting energy of linking up with the right person to get to your empress energy. It feels like some form of a partnership. Like for some reason you could be feeling pulled to link up with the proper person. It's almost like a molecular thing too. Like right now, that's what self-care is. Like you're trying to link up things at the quantum level to try to kind of like, you can feel the shift. You can think, you know, maybe even a specific thing or process that when you do it, you come into wish fulfillment. There are other things that you, you're very aware of things that pull you into whatever this anxiety, sleepless nights. That could be people or things that you're ingesting or just like whatever your self-care process is. Sometimes this can even be where you eat past 7 p.m. and then your digestive is overactive and then it throws off your sleep patterns. So it could be tiny little things like that that you could be trying to figure out like here and there you're trying to narrow it down when you get it narrowed down it'll that's that self-discipline aspect that's the higher font that's kind of like dopamine um fast you know when you fast on dopamine and you bring your dopamine levels really low then it means like it's easier for you to find like to activate it again that's what intermittent fasting does if you've ever thought about it in that way that's why humans are so freaking obsessed with it is because you're you're extending your reward system because like when you eat you get a flood of dopamine but if you restrict that then it's like better you have better activations within your body it's i, I don't know why i'm talking about this with you but it's a lot of self-discipline energy coming in in some way shape or form and working with chemical stuff because Ace of Cups is a emotional rebirth and you'll probably start to feel it in some way over this next week. You might, as, as you focus on dedicating yourself to something, some type of practice or routine for yourself, this can also be like cold water plunging, like cold showers. Something about that is super beneficial for you and it's going to help you to like feel these new emotions feel something different and you're you're activating some new things over this next week but i also want to say there's an energy here that i can see five of wands upside down like you're in this shifting mode but there's a, a definite energy here in some way it could be a mother for you or a father like i try not to get too caught up on genders but that is a very codependent human and that's kind of coming into me as some type of stalemate, like that you're realizing nothing transforms or moves forward. And that's preventing some type of movement in some way. Okay. I'm being dead serious. Okay. Like you can literally change restrictions in your area. I know you guys are not going to believe me in a way, but there's even been studies like where buddhist monks go into cities and they can measure that the crime rate goes down from even just meditation that's the power of self-care and tradition this is like your guides your guides coming in and you connecting with them through maybe spiritual practices whatever it is that you're doing that could be changing the frequency around you it's a lot of self-discipline and dedication which can sometimes be challenging because you could have other energies on the side here that are not doing that and you would have to not conform to what they're doing even though it's traditional in some ways like you could be breaking tradition some of you guys also you could be connecting with a particular person that's like of a different race of, or ethnicity some of you guys that could be happening i mean the lovers could be connected to romance i definitely won't discount that so for some of you guys there could be someone that you're thinking of connecting with and they're of a different like um they have different traditions and values or a different ethnicity than you it actually feels like that could bring up some conflict or issues in some way just have to throw that out there because that was a very random message but i can see here there's an energy here that could be causing some fear anxiety that shadow energy is actually blocking you from a very potential person like a really good potential mate 
So, and that also could be vice versa. You could be interested in another person, but they're trying to like release something right now. They're trying to detach from it actively like this. That's what it's showing me. They're trying, they're trying to turn the wheel. They're trying to like get to a higher vibration and kind of shift out of this energy. And that's what the change is bringing. Okay. This is definite change energy. So for those of you, if you're kind of like connecting with a person, there's the lovers, the sun. It's like this is a full-blown wish fulfillment. Like everything that you could ask be asking for, it's very stable with that maiden of pentacles. That's the Venus and Capricorn. So it's like bringing in that very stable type of potential energy to you, a potential partner in some way. And there's just releasing going on. So be patient. Okay, I think that this could actually come together in a really positive way. It's just like there's a lot of shifting energies and a lot of entanglements and things that are just being rewired, reconnected through self-care and trying to deactivate the connections and shift into something new. Okay, this is a brand new chapter, which is amazing. Okay, lots of really good energies coming in and the sun, the sun just tops everything. So it's like, this is, this is the way you're being like this really positive light is coming into your experience in some way, shape or form. And it's like helping you to kind of get clarity on things that are dragging you down and pulling you into some shadow and ways that you can kind of like get shifted and have forward progress and movement with that chariot card. That's how the energy is going to flip around. Okay. Something that you activate in your energy at the quantum level is going to shift things promise. Okay. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope you guys got something useful from this. No extended for this week, but I'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.